Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Music Mondays podcast. I'm your host, Zom Slays. Welcome on in. Happy Monday. Today is December 4th, 2023. And actually, I had just realized um, this is the first December episode of the Music Mondays podcast, which is kind of wild because, like, I feel like um, November, like, really flew by. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, November was just, like, you know, here, see you later, like, super fast month, super, super fast month, but this month is, um, a very special occasion. So, um, today is episode 150 of the Music Money's podcast, and that's pretty crazy. So, technically, this is the end of season three. So we're going to talk a little bit about that later because I actually came up with an idea of how we're going to structure the podcast going into uh, 2024. So lots of like really, really good stuff coming for sure. But, 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 but um, let's get into it. So we're going to talk about uh, some weekly recap stuff, uh, a little bit of uh, some podcast updates, and we're going to get into... um, some reactions and reviews uh jay what's good i hope you're well <laughs> welcome on in uh so uh with that said um let's kick off our weekly recap so two brand new articles are live on the music money's homepage right now uh one by m bischoff and one by blank thought as well so uh, blank thoughts article was um pretty interesting for our usual written content uh blank thought broke down his um top three albums of 2023 so um very very cool huge huge shout out to blank thought for writing that definitely go check that out if you missed that and of course um huge shout out to m m actually broke down um a wonderful wonderful ep uh that dropped most recently um i think like a uh not even like a month ago so definitely go check that out and go show that some love of course um you know last week was a little bit weird following the holidays because we had some like backed up pieces that we really had to um get done as far as that goes so you saw a little bit of uh written pieces kind of drop like relatively earlier uh in the week than they normally would have so um definitely go check those out because there's a bunch of new stuff on the site right now um so with that said let's continue on my friends um let's see here so up next um spotify wrapped actually came out this last week and that's actually really really interesting you know, I could kind of dive into some details uh, with Spotify Wrapped, but, you know, realistically, I, I could just save that for, like, a whole new episode. If I'm being completely honest with you, like, that's something where it's it, it's it's actually a hilarious thing to try to break down. Um, just because I feel like certain people kind of um, make Spotify Wrapped in, like, such a weird way, right? And, and, uh, and I think... Um, taken a little bit more serious than it needs to be but that's neither here nor there um the music mondays podcast official spotify wrapped is out right now uh of course for those of you that know and for those of you that uh watch the show year round you guys know i'm blabbering about uh the music mondays podcast being available on all audio platforms so very very important um the spotify wrapped is out now man and there's a lot of cool stats on there um i'm not going to sit here and read them off but um I just wanted to take a personal uh, second to thank every single person that did stream the Music Money's podcast uh, on any audio platform, not just Spotify. Uh, for those of you that take us on the go on Apple Podcasts, for those of you that take us on the go over on Google, um, anything like that, you guys are amazing. So um, it's really cool to just look back on and see the kind of work we put in throughout the year because we're putting in like, I think we matched last year's minutes as well which was kind of cool um i think we put in like 10,000 minutes last year and we put in 10,000 minutes this year um with only like a month left of shows so what like after this we only have like three shows left of 2023 wow wait what the fuck that's kind of crazy holy shit we really do only have like three shows left wow oh okay um, so today's like more of a special episode than I kind of realized, to be honest with you, especially like it being the end of season three, but, um, 
yeah man go go check out our spotify wrapped and uh go show that some love and huge shout out to everybody that does take the music money's podcast on the go but of course huge shout out to all you guys that always um show love to the youtube uploads as well you guys are um let's see where does that take us so that lands us on our youtube upload uh which dropped on thursday of last week um i spoke a little bit about the music monies awards um how that's going to work this year reintroducing it to all the people that have no idea what the music monies are uh kind of give a little like a backstory on the thought process behind that and that uh segment is available on our youtube channel right now so definitely go check that out go show that some love and i think our channel is like three subs away from 230 so if you're not subbed definitely go check out our channel and uh subscribe if you like what you see man because we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday um so that's on the channel and uh that takes us all the way into the weekend um so friday saturday uh we dropped a brand new music one days recruiting flyer um you know we're always on the hunt for new staff members um throughout the majority of the year until we can really like fill out a lot of team roles um but every once in a while you'll see us refresh the flyer kind of repost it um make sure that we can you know touch a new a new audience every every now and again so definitely go check out the recruiting flyer and if you're interested in any music money staff roles uh definitely get in contact with us definitely uh contact music mondays contact myself um all of our contact information is also available on our website uh, if you're interested in any of the music mondays roles we actually have a detailed youtube guide for everything that uh has to do with music mondays staff members right um if you're interested in writing designing curating anything like that um all the roles are detailed on our channel um so you can check that out and definitely go get a better grasp on um you know what comes with it being a part of the music money staff um so yeah definitely go check out our recruiting flyer and uh get in contact with us if if uh that interests you my friends um so saturday saturday episode 149 of the music money's podcast is available on all platforms including our youtube channel um so definitely go check that out go show that some love um and again huge shout out to everybody that submitted everybody that tuned in last week the show has been really really um just a blessing lately so huge shout out to all you guys that just tune in submit all that good stuff and for those of you that missed the live show um you guys are awesome for running up the show elsewhere so uh episode 149 is available everywhere definitely go check that out youtube uh spotify google podcast apple podcast all that good stuff go show that some love and uh go show these artists some love as well <clears throat> um that takes us into sunday my friends so let's talk sunday soundcloud sunday volume 111 is available on all audio platforms or uh no i'm sorry not on, not on all the audio platforms on our soundcloud right now uh this week's uh soundcloud sunday was actually curated by myself um with art by kyoko's garden so huge shout out to kyoko um you know, SoundCloud Sunday is is it's it's not slept on um, when it comes to Music Mondays, but it's it's one of the more like uh, maybe I'm just biased, but it's one of my favorite pieces of Music Mondays. I've I've just always been a fan of SoundCloud Sunday, um, just because we ran through a hundred plus volumes already, uh, and it hasn't even been that long. So SoundCloud Sunday is kind of like. Kind of like the pillar of what we're all about at music mondays and really where you can find um the latest and most undiscovered finest underground independent creatives on not only just the underground community but just um in the independent community just everywhere you can think of and so that playlist is very much like i say all the time it's not only for artists and mutuals and things like that but it's for everybody that um is interested in new music right there's people all the time that's like where's the new music at where's the new music at i think i think one of the hot topics this whole year actually was was uh you know how uh trash rap music was and how you know there was no good music and da 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 and like things like soundcloud sunday really prove that otherwise right because um even just like all the volumes in 2023 like prove that wrong you know what i mean but um you know that's up to the people so definitely go show SoundCloud Sunday Volume 111 some love. 
Um, and if you're ever interested in submitting for SoundCloud Sunday, submissions open every single Wednesday, so make sure you follow us on socials at All Music Mondays to stay up to date on all of our submission information. Um, so yeah, that takes us into Monday, my friends. Here we are, um, episode 150. Um, I'm your host, Tom Slays, and we're going to talk about what's coming up on the Music Monday podcast, the Music Monday platform, and everything else over the course of the next week or so. Um, we're going to talk about the Music Mondays podcast in 2024, and we're going to get some reactions and reviews. So, um, let's talk about it. Um, so I think first things first, let's talk about what's coming on Music Mondays over the course of the next week or so. Um... So, just to get two normal things out of the way, um, Music Mondays is on the hunt for, uh, SoundCloud exclusives. So, if you have a unreleased SoundCloud track that you'd like to, uh, have hosted on the Music Monday SoundCloud, definitely get in contact with us. Uh, we're only interested in the unreleased SoundCloud version, so if you feel like you want to upload your tracks on all audio platforms or, um, go do whatever else with it, that's fine. We're only interested in the SoundCloud version. Not only help grow our library, but uh, as another way to help uh, promote other artists and really kind of um, spread a little SoundCloud love. So, um, if that's something that interests you and you'd like to get uh, your unreleased track hosted and promoted for free across all of our social medias, definitely get in contact with us and uh, we'll be happy to uh, have that conversation. Um, I think another important thing is too, is I want to stress we are open to YouTube uploads as well. So if anybody's interested in a lyric video, visual music video, and you want Music Mondays to host it on our channel of over 200 subscribers for free and have it be promoted across all of our socials, uh, definitely get in contact with us because that's something we want to build up as well, right? I think we have like three or four music videos on the channel right now, so we definitely want to um, continue to build that aspect of it as well and um, just promote people that way. Um, so again, if you're interested in that, definitely get in contact with us. No. Um, kind of touched on this a bit earlier, but I always touch on this each week. Um, if you're interested in joining the Music Monday staff team, um, we are, uh, interested in, uh, recruiting a few more roles. So if you're interested in becoming a writer, journalist, uh, curator, designer, things like that, uh, definitely let us know and get in contact with us. We'll be happy to have that conversation. Well, and much like I mentioned earlier, um, all of our details uh, for Music Monday staff roles are available on our channel. So uh, definitely go check out our channel if you'd like a more detailed explanation on all Music Monday staff roles. Uh, Re, what's good? I hope you're well. Welcome on in. Happy motherfucking Monday. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so that takes us into this week, my friends. Um, those are just two things that I like to mention each week, right? But, um, this, this week's going to be pretty stacked as far as Music Mondays goes, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so our monthly content is going to be capped off. Uh, we're going to try to get at least one more episode of Workshop Wednesday, Feature Friday, Behind the Merch, and The Breakdown uploaded on the channel before 2024. So that's very, very crucial. Um, we're finishing up the August and September edition of In Case You Missed It Monthly, so you'll see those go up as well. Um, and if you don't know what In Case You Missed It Monthly is, uh, definitely go check out all the older versions of In Case You Missed It Monthly on allmusicmondays.com. Um, so those are like two big monthly pieces that I'm trying to cap off before next year. Um, another big thing is the Music Mondays Awards for 2023. Um, I'm going to be working relatively hard for... Uh, the next week or so with the staff to kind of iron out what that's going to look like over the course of the next couple weeks. Um, but those are like kind of like the bigger things on the forefront for me right now. And uh, we're going to be handling a couple of things with the Patreon. Um, yeah, there's a couple things I just don't want to leak too much information on, but uh, you'll find out a couple of really... Um, really good announcements when it comes to the patreon and things like merch and things like that uh, relatively soon but i don't i don't want to um i don't want to leak anything quite yet um those are like a couple of like major major things uh but as far as your weekly content goes of course uh you'll have a weekly article coming out this friday and i think we're gonna have something else on the backlog coming out during the middle of the week 
So again, follow us on socials, keep your eyes peeled, uh, even join our Discord as well. Uh, I think we're about 200 plus members strong. Definitely go check out the Discord if you like uh, your constant Music Mondays updates. Um, and then of course, uh, podcast submissions, um, SoundCloud Sunday submissions, all that good stuff will be available. And again, just make sure you follow us on socials, either that or join our Discord uh, to stay up to date with everything to do with Music Mondays. Um, so big week. Uh, big week. I think, like I mentioned last week, it's it's very much a uh, tying up loose ends kind of feel over the course of the next couple days um, into next week. So, again, I urge you to follow us on socials and keep your eyes peeled. A lot of kind of rogue drops here and there that are going to come through for sure. Um, but yeah, that kind of takes care of like the next week or so on Music Mondays. But, 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 but um one thing we're going to talk about before we get into some reactions and reviews is uh the music money's podcast in 2024 so let's talk about it um so other than a few like smaller details that don't that don't really matter right now I think the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about regarding the show going into next year um, was the fact that uh, we are on episode 150, right? So, for those of you that don't know, every 50 episodes is a new season of the Music Mondays podcast, which I think up until now, right? So this being the end of season three, I think that's like pretty hefty. Um... Because I didn't really, I didn't really know how I wanted to structure it at first, right? I didn't really know like what this was gonna kind of look like in terms of like a full blown show long term, especially when I started in episode one. Um. So I came to the conclusion, uh, actually today, where I was like, you know, just to give the show a little bit more of like a of 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 like muscle. I think we'll cut it down to 25 episodes per season. So instead of the 50, I think the end of season 4 will be at um that would be what 175. And then Season 5 would be up to 200. Yeah, so every 25 episodes would be a season. And that way, I think it's a lot easier to condense down 25 episodes and talk about that a little bit more. Um, so I think that's what's like really, really like interesting about this is... Like, looking back on it, like, seasons don't really matter if, like they're that long right because you can't really like recap it you can't really like reflect on it um so i think that was my main thought process behind that and really wanting to just shorten down the season and try to bring it up to like or bring it down i should say to like 25 episodes or so so i think my thinking um moving forward is the show is going to be in the same format of course um, nothing's changing, like, internally, but I'm just thinking how we structure the show in, like, large quantities going forward. I think, um, going into season four and season five, we'll do 25 episodes per season, so that way we have an opportunity to, like, do, like, a season four recap, right? Because it's a lot easier to look at 25 episodes than it is to look at 50 episodes. Because 50 episodes, there's, like, a whole, there's almost, like, too much to talk about, right? Um but i think when it comes down to like 25 episodes that's a lot easier to uh really handle so um that's that's something i really really enjoy and i think will kind of be a a, a solid thing moving forward with the show um just because I have a couple of ideas, right? There, are, there are just a, a a few smaller segments that we can really get done. Um, you know, top songs of season four, top reactions of season four, right? So it kind of like brings a little bit more emphasis on the podcast when it comes down to it. 
um so that was like the major update i kind of wanted to give going into 2024 and how we're gonna like structure the show especially now going forward i really wanted to make that announcement because this is episode 150 so technically this would be the end of season three and um episode 151 is going to be the start of season four and then when we get to 175 season four will be over and then um season five will cap off at episode 200 which will be kind of crazy if you think about it uh so yeah kind of exciting kind of exciting not like a major switch but something i kind of wanted to like break down for anybody that like kind of watches our old episodes anybody that like catches up on you know how long we've been doing this our format over the years and things like that well i say years but it's only been since 2021 um so we haven't even really had like a full um like a full like couple years on all platforms it's it it, it feels longer than it has been that i will say but um definitely let us know what you'd like to see on the music money's podcast in 2024 definitely let us know um you'd like to see us on any other audio platforms in 2024 um of course this will be uploaded on the channel so definitely subscribe if you haven't already we are three subs as of right now uh away from 230 so definitely go sub to the channel and uh go show the channel some love of course we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday full podcast episodes all that good stuff's available over there so go show the channel some motherfucking love get it baby boom So, um, fun little announcement there, um, something that I, uh, was kind of thinking about, um, for quite a while, but I didn't know, like, why I wanted to change that, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it was kind of weird, like, like, I just didn't know why I wanted to switch that out, like, it, it, it was just something I, I, I knew eventually there'd be a reason for it, and, that's going to be the reason for it, right? So we'll be able to put, like, a little bit of more uh, emphasis on the show. I think that'll be really good. Definitely will be really good. So um, let's get into it, chat. You guys know the motherfucking drill. Uh, if you're new here, let's break it down. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, reactions and reviews. And we're going to talk about how you can submit to the Music Monday podcast. Um, and all the details uh, regarding that. So, um... Let's get into it. Uh, for those of you on audio platforms, uh, submission tweets will always be the same format. The only thing that kind of changes is the date on each tweet. So just make sure you check the date and make sure that uh, you're submitting under the uh, proper proper tweet. But uh, like I said, um, submissions are always in the same format. Uh, and they'll read artists and crazy. Submissions are open for live reviews on Music Mondays. Live on December 4th, 2023, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv slash songplays, which is here and now. Um, if you'd like to submit your music, for artwork, fashion, or digital creation, drop your links and portfolios below. All art forms are welcome. So, um, like I said, um, contrary to our name, and pretty much like I always talk about, um, feel free to submit anything to the Music Money's podcast, right? Because we've reacted to... <laughs> like like a lot um of course everything from vocals to instrumentals music videos lyric videos uh youtube edits photos designs merch writing uh you name it we have definitely reacted to it so definitely don't shy away if you wanted to uh submit something else besides music to music money podcast um we're definitely open and um really always wanted to put a little more shine on the multi-talented artists of the underground and independent community because like it's one of those things where um you know so many people are so talented at so many different things right so some designers are also producers some producers also do vocals um some producers also design so there's like a big there's like a big kind of switch up there when it comes down to like um what you can showcase on um these kinds of shows so feel free to uh, submit anything you want absolutely um for our show limit of course the four hour show limit is in place because we are a weekly show um we're one of the only weekly live shows that also are available on all platforms so just to make the show a little bit more palatable for uh future listeners and things like that we decided to kind of cap the show off at about four hours which, I mean, one could argue that four hours is still, like, pretty fucking long. But 
Um, it's not as bad as some of the earlier shows that we used to do that were, you know, five, six, sometimes seven hour shows. I'm, I'm pretty sure like our longest show was about like seven hours, um, 30 plus submissions and things like that. So, um, just to make them a little bit more tangible to watch back, that's the reason why, um, we really kind of wanted to just push that and, um, make it a little bit more palatable, but also kind of not put as much pressure on the music money staff as well. Cause like I said, we are a weekly live show, so it takes a little bit of the pressure off. Um, so that's that. But, uh, the only other thing, um, that you should know is of course, submissions are free. They always have been, they always will be. Um, but the only thing that we do ask is that you're following the music money's podcast on Twitter before you submit uh, to not only help grow our platform and spread our message, but to just pay respects to everybody else that does submit to the Music Mondays podcast each week. Um, and of course, you gain access to a whole wide variety of creatives um, and a whole bunch of Music Mondays resources and things like that. So that's the only thing that we do ask uh, in exchange before you submit. Just follow us on Twitter and uh, you'll be good to go. But, 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 of course, uh, with our four hour show limit in place, um, some weeks we might not be able to get through, um, everybody's submissions, right? Uh, sometimes we'll hit the four hour show limit and we'll be like, oh shit, uh, we weren't able to get through every single submission, but, um, there is a way to guarantee that you, uh, have your submissions played first here each week, and that has to do with the Music Money's Patreon. So, uh, if you're interested in kind of having a guaranteed, uh, reaction here on the show each week, Definitely go check out the Music Mondays Patreon. We have something called the Music Mondays Fast Pass, where you can gain access to not only that, but um, pretty much a ticket to be able to have your submissions reacted to first on the show each week uh, for the duration that you're pledged to our Patreon. So definitely go check out our Patreon for any more details on that. And um, that's pretty much like one of the main ways that you can support the Music Mondays platform and uh, all of our staff members, including myself. So definitely go check out our Patreon and uh, go show all of our patrons some love. Uh, the only other thing that I do want to mention here is that submissions do close a couple hours before the show starts. Um, once again, that's just to make sure that um, we have like a head count and things like that. And we're, we're able to really like um, see what the show is about to look like when it comes down to like how long it's about to be and things like that. But that also guarantees that nobody gets cut in line after the show's already started, right? So we don't want somebody to come in when the show's live and submit. And then they get in front of somebody that submitted last week. So it, it, it just uh, prevents a lot of confusion. And we are kind of like a free flow show. So that way it doesn't really come through and um, take us off course, right? So um, just keep that in mind. That's the only other thing that you really should know. Is that the Music Monday podcast um, submissions close about a couple hours before the show starts. So again, um, pretty much if the show's live, you'll know that submissions are closed. Um, so just keep that in mind. But uh, that's that, my friends. We are absolutely ready to hop into uh, some reactions and reviews, man. So uh, if you have any more questions about the Music Mondays podcast or anything like that, uh, we have plenty of guides and answers and things like that on our YouTube channel. We'll be happy to uh, direct you uh, that direction. So uh, let's check if there's any patrons for the night. And then we'll um, hop right into... Uh, community submissions per usual, my friends. You guys know the drill. When I was skimming through earlier, I don't think... I don't think I saw any Patreons. I don't think so. I think it's pretty straightforward tonight, chat, which is which is kind of rare, to be honest with you. That's, that's, like, that's, like, pretty rare. So, let's get into it, man. We're, we're hopping right into uh, community submissions. So... Um, first submission of the night, the homie, Survival in Negativity, aka Sin. Uh, here's a recent collab I did with the producer rapper Sweet and Savory called Burj Khalifa for his hip-hop for Misfits album. Also featuring Wesley Rocco. Okay, okay. Damn, so we got, a, like, a whole hell of a collab here. Okay, so, for those of you that don't know Survival in Negativity, a very talented alternative hip-hop artist, uh, has been going crazy with their submissions as of lately, so... I'm definitely excited to see what Sin has for us this week. This is definitely an artist that, like I said, has not only had like a good 2023, but as of lately, um, their submissions have just been nuts. Like, just really nuts. So, Sweet and Savory, Burj Khalifa featuring Wesley, Sin, and Joe. Let's get into it.
<laughs> Get up every day at 6 a.m. to work from 8 to 5 and head home live from paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, everything is fine. Whoever lives that life, it's all right. You get to make your own choices. But for peeps like me, we are hell not until we lose our voices. Oh, hell not. I'll be out there instead of wishing I'm anywhere. Not trying to go, I just wanna float. Not deep black like sheep, I just try to be a gold. Loaded like a bank account. Experience, no money can amount. True, yeah, I'm a live big, but not bad. Not trying to go mad. Putting myself out to the open. Maybe judge cook inside the oven. I don't care. I don't care. No one cares. Just sit there, watch me climb while you stare. I ain't scared anymore. Got my fair share of remorse. Still men on the moon, no leaving anytime soon. This is nothing. We always up to something. Go okay. The country with the words we be constructing. We get high as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. To way up to even see ya. This is nothing. We always up to something. Go around the country with the words we be constructing. We get high as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. To way up to even see ya. Flexing uh, on a daily basis. Riding in my newest spaceship. Steady trying to be the greatest. Waiting on my moment. Patient chasing all my goals in sight. I'm JJ lit like dynamite. I'm the brightest thing in sight. What's the best on any mic? I say these cats on countless tracks. I never had to double back. Rewind that and tell them that my rap they high like mountain blacks. I'm stunning. So many verses bring the 90s back, they drink these stacks, change the flow so drastic, don't know how to act, yeah, I keep the lyrics vivid, leave MCs confused and timid, riding clean the way I'm living, life so good but people tripping, different views and ways of life, lost in space like satellites, I don't care about the hype as long as God is in my life, yeah, this is nothing, we always into something, go around the country with the words we be constructing, we get high as birds, Khalifa, high as birds, Khalifa, high as birds, Khalifa, we way up to even see ya. Say why? It's all in front of me. There for the taking, taking no shorts and no losses. Gotta get my piece of the pie. Never think to forfeit the progress. Always trust the process at hand. Never let politics throw the plans off. Oh. Some use this as a crutch and get left without a leg to stand on. In the game, but they playing wrong. And don't understand longevity. Better be ready, heavily dedicated every day to the melody. Make these memories last long and lift through infinite and energy after we pass on. Till then, we just pass, giving everything that we have and whatever better change that we grab. Is Indicative to the way we craft this passion of ours, making our path through the stars. Only God can judge us. He knows exactly who we all are. This is nothing. We always up to something. Go around the country with the words we be constructing. We get high as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. Do we up to even see ya? This is nothing. We always up to something. Go around the country with the words we be constructing. We get high as Burj Khalifa. High as Burj Khalifa. See, I don't know exactly why I'm on this ride, nah. Barely moving with little air in the tires. I'm all alone, just me, myself, and my rhymes. Then it hits me head on. It's music that starts my drive. This journey through my existence since coloring books and pictures and pencils to make this vivid for you to see why I'm living. And suicidal intentions and thoughts that replay images that kept bringing me down. It's around to uplift us. I found my way through all of it, sputtering. But I sparked it to light the night with the darkness. So when the dark is in, we're confident. Nothing is harming us, harmony flowing and calling us. Haters can I comprehend, but that isn't a problem Cause they can spew any garbage Cause it doesn't bother us We know the road ahead, I'll take a plane, train, or charter bus We gon' make it eventually They gon' be calling us Till then and after, I stay hungry like life is starving us Duh. Now this is nothing, we always into something Go around the country with the words we be constructing We get high as Burj Khalifa High as Burj Khalifa High as Burj Khalifa Two way up to even see you say Now this is nothing, we always into something We go around Around the country with the words we be constructing, we get high as Burj Khalifa, high as Burj Khalifa, high as Burj Khalifa, two way up to even see ya, hey. This is nothing, we always up to something. Go around the country with the words we be constructing, we get high as Burj Khalifa, high as Burj Khalifa, high as Burj Khalifa, two way up to even see ya. This is nothing, we always up to something Go around the country with the words we be constructing We get high as Burj Khalifa, high as Burj Khalifa High as Burj Khalifa, two way up to even see ya Too high up to even think about looking down You can find peace in the melody with ease if you look around Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. 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 Um, I mean, I kind of expected a longer track, especially when it comes down to like how many names are even mentioned here. But I feel like that was a very enjoyable track for the length, right? Because sometimes these tracks, um, if they're not either like in the cipher fashion or they're not kind of like, um, putting together like a decent structure, sometimes they can be like weird to listen to, right? But um, I felt like this one was a nice listen, to be honest with you. Like, very much like a chill kind of anthem, but at the same time, like, if this came on on your playlist while you were cleaning, smoking, chilling, driving, you probably wouldn't skip this, you know what I mean? Especially if you're kind of like a fan of this and, and, and you do like this sound. Um, I, can see, I can see this being like a non-skip, for sure. So, um, let's break this one down. Let's talk about it. Uh, we're gonna talk about three things here. We're talk about the instrumental, talk about vocals, talk about the overall theme of this track. So, um, man, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, I feel like the instrumental is gonna be the easiest thing to kind of dissect here. So, um, let's talk instrumental. Um, hmm. So, let me start off by saying the mix is fantastic. Um, nothing clashing to overbearing. Um, the drums cut through nicely. Everyone's vocals, and I mean everyone's vocals, sit nicely for sure. I didn't think that it, there was no gripes with this at all. Um, the mix was definitely right where it needs to be, especially for kind of like a chill, laid back kind of vibe that that uh, this track was going for. I feel like the mix was perfect, definitely. Um, hmm. So instrumental mix solid, one hundred percent. Um. Instrumental shining star. Now I feel like the melody is very much like it's it's very memorable, but. But I, I, I think throughout the, the, the whole track, the thing that kind of was, like, really pushing me was the drums. I feel like the drums were very memorable, very much kind of like, uh, they had a really good rhythm, but I feel like the sound selection kind of made this, for sure. So for me, it was the drums, 100%. 100%. The melody was a close second. I do like the structure as well, but the drums were, were definitely up there. Um... Okay, so instrumental solid, definitely the drums and the shining star. Um, let's talk vocals. So a vocal mix throughout the whole track was fantastic. I didn't think anybody kind of sounded off. I didn't think anybody kind of was a little bit like, like not matching anybody. I felt like it was like, again, right where it needed to be, especially for, you know, more than like three heads. Like, I feel like once you get to like four or five people on a track, it can start to be like a little difficult to like, um have everybody sound a decent way if not the same person is kind of <laughs> mixing so you can run into a bit of trouble with this many people on one track but i do feel like uh they did very well to be honest i didn't notice any gripes um nothing clashing to overbearing like i said vocals sat nice drums cut through nicely Again, levels were good, and that's kind of, like, the main thing you want to look for here is, is like, everybody sounding crisp and clean and, like, every transition to be, like, really solid in between verses. And, um, again, no gripes at all. So, vocal mix, definitely solid. Um, vocal Shining Star. So, again, with this many people on one track, I definitely don't think that there's, like, a... There's, like, a real definitive way to kind of, like, pick one thing. But the thing that I did notice that I liked from everybody here was um, the flow and cadence. The flow and cadence and delivery, I feel like every single person nailed. And the transition, like I was saying, from verse to verse was relatively, like, pleasing to listen to, right? Because you got, like, a new, fresh voice in there, but you were able to, like, still take that flow from the last person, kind of double it up, which I think is a total W, absolute fucking W for sure um real real big on that 100 percent. so flow and cadence and delivery for sure 
Um, so instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Vocal solid, definitely flow cage. Delivery, let's talk theme. Um, I believe this is from an album that uh, or his hip hop for Misfits album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a full project cover here. So we do got to keep that in mind when it comes down to um, what we're going to talk about here. So let me just kind of go to this project. Okay. So yeah, four months ago, we're looking at, holy shit, 22 tracks. So it looks like uh, to be like some sort of like compilation or just, no, actually just like a really big album, I think. Yeah. Just like a really, really big project. This is like track seven, so I don't think that that was bad at all. Um, I think that's a pretty good placement for a track like that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's talk aesthetics here. Let's talk aesthetics. Now, I love, love, love this for a project cover for a couple of reasons, right? I kind of like the urban foreground, but I think the thing that kind of like sold me here was. The like magazine cutout font. I think the magazine cutout font is is really what's doing it here for me. Um, it has that like '90s feel to it, but it's so much more modern and like HD. So I love covers like this that kind of blend a couple different elements, but it's not trying to do too much. I definitely think this project is like it. Like just off that one track, you could tell that this is is a great indication of what sound you're gonna get. If you were to like roll through the rest of this project, so um, aesthetics absolutely on point in my opinion. Um, overall theme. So there wasn't like a crazy like complex over the top theme here. Um, with there being like like five or six people on this track, I really feel like um, the simpler the better. That way everybody else kind of had like a good canvas and like i said from the jump this was very much a chill like like kind of like classical hip-hop feel with like a more of a like a modern sense too so i really feel like everybody kind of killed it coming together and making like a chill almost like ambient lo-fi-esque kind of anthem you know what i mean because like i said that's going to be a track if you like it you're not going to skip it you're not going to skip it when you're cleaning when you're smoking when you're driving on the highway Things like that, you know what I mean? It's 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 definitely one of those like chill, laid back anthems for sure. And I think everybody did a really good job. So, uh, with that said, a huge shout out to Sin and huge shout out to Sweet and Savory. Make sure you follow Sweet on SoundCloud. They are approaching uh 380 followers on the cloud. And of course, make sure you follow Survival in Negativity. They're approaching uh 300 on Twitter, man. They are uh 14 away. So make sure you go show Sin some love. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode. Will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload, <coughs> and uh, of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 230 subaronies on the main channel, my friends. Um, we're literally three subs away. We're at 227. So if you're not subbed to the channel, go check out the channel. Sub if you like what you see. And again, huge shout out to everybody that's already subbed. We upload two times a week, man. Every Thursday, every Saturday, full podcast episodes, two segments, whole lot of good stuffs available over there. So. Go show the channel and these are some love. Um, let's get it, man. So coming off of survival and negativity, up next we got the homie Jordan, aka Jordan Andrew. And uh <clears throat> this is an artist again that I think had a fantastic year. Um lots of singles, couple projects, live performances, visuals, music videos. I think Jordan had a really good year, if I'm being completely honest with you. So um this week they submitted a track titled Other Room. And it's actually a lyric video. So I'm definitely excited to dive into this. No question. No question. Um, let's see here. We'll pause that right quick. Let's uh, let's get a little bump of Rooney in the quality. Go a little 720. A little bump in the sound. Six days ago. Other Room V4 by Jordan, lyric video edited by Jordan, Pro Jordan, written by Jordan, and Anthony Floyd. Let's go, Anthony. A little collab writing never hurt. We, we, see, we love that. We love that. We love that. Okay, no, wait, 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 wait. Pause. We're not ready. All right. 
Um, okay, let's get into it. Here we go. Uh, Jordan, Other Room, Lyric Video. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Um much to discuss here because this is like this is almost like another Jordan Andrew revolution. It's it's a level up in like a different way because it's like such a different style, I guess than than we're usually like used to. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to dive into this one, man. Let's um let's talk about it. Let's talk about it for sure. So, um we're going to talk about three things here. Um We're going to talk about the instrumental. Talk about vocals and talk about the overall theme of uh, this track because wow so um let's talk instrumental here so mix is fantastic nothing clashing too overbearing um the vocals sit nice uh nothing that like struck me as off nothing that was like super um just off you know what i mean like jordan you know especially all of like this year has had a very consistent mix no matter whether it's production their vocals like the majority of their mixes are um very very fucking solid so not really a shocker 
but um something you always want to point out definitely so instrumental mix uh fantastic um instrumental shining star um hmm I love the melodies here, and the drums are solid too. The drums are like a real solid support, but I feel like one like slept on aspect is um the structure. The structure was something to me where I was like, ah, I just like the structure of this one, but the melodies kind of will stick with you more. So probably the melodies, but I do feel like the structure was a really solid close second. Um, so instrumental solid, definitely the melodies, but, uh, structure close second. Let's talk vocals here. So, uh, vocals are fucking fantastic. Um, vocals are something here to really write home about. Um, we've seen Jordan, and we've heard Jordan kind of touch on the more, like, alternative slash indie slash, like, lo-fi kind of vocals right and this one kind of mixes a couple different styles of mixing and this one kind of has like a little bit of like a uh certain pitch and then for the verses it's just like a complete switch up and i like that a lot i think jordan did a good job kind of like balancing out the whole weird pitch aspect of this um because sometimes like like it's very easy to overdo it and i think jordan kind of hit the mark with really like having this whole like uh this whole um like using like the hook and kind of like Feeling the verses with like a more like familiar Jordan style. And I like that a lot. I like that a real lot. Um So for me the mix was like it was like so exciting to listen to, to be honest with you. Like the mix was just so so exciting to listen to and then it was something that like Um I'm like pleased and like happy to hear because it's like yo, like this is like this is Jordan kind of like diving into like a whole different style of things and a whole different like new aspect of things. Like it, it it's just super super cool. So um, I'm a big fan of the mix because it's not like super outside the box, but it's also like pushing like the regular boundaries. I would say so I'm a big big fan of the mix. Um, big fan. But, um, Vocal Shining Star, um, this is kind of interesting because it's like, you know, when it comes down to the vocals here, there was a couple things I really enjoyed, like, like, really, really fucking enjoyed, um, you know, Writing was definitely up there. Writing was kind of a no-brainer. I feel like the writing here was, like, very honest and passionate, and we're very used to that from Jordan Andrew. Um, so not really, like, a super shocker there. Um, flow and cadence throughout the whole track realistically, I think, was fantastic as well. Um, again, something that I think was, like, a really slept-on aspect was absolutely flow and cadence. Um, but I kind of, I don't know, I kind of do want to say writing. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I kind of want to do say writing just because, like, this was a very honest track, but combined with, like, the flow and cadence almost gave me, like, this, um, Midwest, like, alternative, almost Midwest emo kind of feel, but not really, like, pushing the aspect of it so much i just think that 
Jordan really like came through on 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 the whole like indie like alternative kind of sound, which which I think was fucking fantastic. Um so for me probably writing um definitely um but i do feel like flow and cadence was was definitely like right behind it no question no question at all um so instrumental solid definitely the melodies um vocal solid definitely the the writing but but flow and cadence was like right behind it 100% um so let's talk lyric video here for sure let's talk lyric so um now when we want to talk about a jordan andrew lyric video this might be top five just because of the like smaller edits we have going on here i feel like jordan really came through on this like really really came through on this um because it's not like it's not like overly edited, right? I don't think it's like very much um trying to do too much. I just feel like creating these kinds of lyric videos mixed with like you, you know, like like the music video aspect is always like super super solid. And that's something I I always love. But this one this one kind of pushes like the boundaries a little bit when it comes to like just a lyric video. Cause like you could really like double this down as like um as like a full blown music video. Like you really, really could. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to like some of the more like redeeming aspects of this, I definitely think Jordan went like above and beyond to make this feel like not just a lyric. You know what I mean? Like this definitely felt like a little bit more. Um, especially towards the end. But at the end of the day, man, like this is a lyric video where you're going to come back to this just because you like the song so much and then you're going to pay more and more attention to the lyric video. You know what I mean? It's it, it's really one of those. It, it it really truly is. So, um well done. Well done. I would say I would say um lyric video shining stars is is kind of an interesting question here. Kind of an interesting question. Um, you know, I like a lot of aspects about this. I really do. Like, I would say probably, probably the editing. If, if I really had to like narrow it down to one thing, a lot of the post in this is really solid. Cause like you have this like black and white footage, right? And the lyrics are, are definitely adding like a very like ambient effect. But a lot of the post stuff is really, really fucking solid. So I like how Jordan like pushed a boundary here. I really, really do. Um, and really all aspects, all the way down to the lyric video. If 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 I'm being completely honest with you, like all the way down to the lyric video. So well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, with that said, huge shout out to Jordan Andrew. Thank you so much for the submission, my friend. Much, much love. Make sure you follow Jordan on YouTube and MMCJ. They are six subs away from thirty. And of course, make sure you follow Jordan on Twitter. Uh, Jordan is approaching uh, 360. They're about five followers away, my friends. Go show Jordan some love. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube free upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 230 subaronies on the main channel, my friends. Um, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a whole lot of good stuff available over there on the Music Monday's channel, my friends. Go show the channel and these artists some love. So, uh, let's get into it. So, uh, we left off with the homie Jordan, and up next we have the homie Ozzy Bug. Now, it's been a while since we heard from them. Um, well, not really. Probably like a month or so. Yeah, probably like a month, because I think we reacted to their music video in like, um, like November or October, something like that. So, um, it hasn't been like that long, but, um, a super, super talented alternative vocalist submitted a track titled 24601 Prod Cassie. Let's see what we got here, my friends. I am down. Um, pop this open a new tab. Pause that right quick. A little bit of lyrics and description. We love that. We love that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it, Wolf Rhymes. Got a little fucking love in the, in the, in the motherfucking comments. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into it. Uh, Ozzy Bug 24601. Let's go. Okay. Fantastic outro, man. Like, a really, really solid outro. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. So, let's break this one down. Um, we're gonna talk about three things here. We're talking about the instrumental, talk about vocals, talk about the overall theme of this track. So, um, man. Alright, um, let's talk instrumental. So, um... Honestly, I really like the instrumental choice here. If, if if I'm keeping it a buck, I love the instrumental choice, especially for Ozzy's sound. Like, this is a little bit more synth heavy than it is like um uh like super pop heavy. It's 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 more on the road of like synth pop and like all pop. So I like the choice a lot. Like I I definitely think this fits their style like pretty heavily. Um. But the mix, excellent. Like, not really a shocker, especially when it comes from the Ozzy kind of wet, wet side of things. Uh, not really a shocker. Um, but the mix is excellent, man. Nothing clashing too overbearing. Drums are excellent. The vocals sit nice on the instrumental. Drums cut through nicely. No gripes at all. Um, but again, not really a shocker. Just something you always want to point out. Um, so super, super well done mix um, as far as the instrumental goes. Instrumental Shining Star is definitely the melodies. I love the melodies here, but the drums are a really close second. Um, drums are a super close second, especially, like, the sound selection on the drums. Absolutely fantastic. Like, like, absolutely fantastic. Um. Hmm. So, Instrumental Solid, definitely the melodies. Um. 
let's talk vocals. So a vocal mix, again, much like the instrumental, super solid. Nothing clashing, too overbearing, nothing like out of place. Uh, everything sits well on the instrumental, 100%. Um, everything definitely cuts through nicely. No, no gripes. You, but again, it, that's not really a shocker, but something you always want to talk about here. Um, but the vocal mix is excellent. Not like too over processed, but not like um, not like super raw either. I definitely think it like hits the mark for sure. Um, the vocal mix excellent. Um, vocal shining star. See, this is the most mature we've heard Ozzy as an artist, right? So I feel like their flow and cadence is really up for um the talk here. I really feel like flow and cadence is really leveled up but also writing is something that i really like here um but i always feel like ozzy's kind of been really good at writing that was always kind of like um one of their like super solid skills is is like being able to like have a um like a super descriptive writing style um it's very easy to put yourself in ozzy's shoes when they're writing lyrics so that's one thing that I think that's like super redeemable here is the writing is like as good as it's ever been. But I think flow and cadence is a thing that's like not only really improved, but also kind of like you can just feel the maturity here. So I definitely think flow and cadence is really up there. Definitely. So flow and cadence and delivery for vocals, 100%. Um, Let's talk theme. So aesthetics. You guys know how I feel about the IRL covers. Like the IRL covers are always a safe bet and they're always like a good like substitute if you don't want to like go super crazy with art or that. it's definitely like very very solid when it comes down to like um you know um really like having a solid cover but it's not like it's not like you know um super like out there when it comes down to li like it's it's the safe bet when you don't feel like going super crazy with art or or if you really feel like it's a better vision rather than kind of like you know pushing for like some crazy art or things like that so um i've always been a fan of the IRL covers so aesthetics definitely on point um hmm so overall theme here now i think the overall theme is kind of interesting because this might be one of the first times uh, throughout all the Aussie tracks that we've reacted to here on the show that I feel like they've they've kind of crafted a track where I feel like um, it's it's a little bit more of like a subliminal for them, right? Especially like the track title. Like I feel like the title has a little bit more to do with something that's like meaningful to them. And then we have this like really like um like solid set of like sentimental lyrics as well so i feel like this is um a very much like a personal track for them than it is for like the listener but the listener can also get whatever they want to get out of it as well you know what i mean they don't necessarily need to like follow the theme but if they kind of resonate with it in a certain way i think that's like available too but this is a very like not like a secretive kind of track but it's a very like personal kind of song in the aspect of like the true meaning of it could be like personal, but also it could just be like very face value as well. So it could go either way. But well done. Well done. Uh with that said, huge shout out to Ozzy. Make sure you follow them on SoundCloud. They are uh four followers away from 40, man. Go show them some love. And of course, make sure you follow them on Twitter. Uh they are six away from 230. Go show them some love and the bird out, my friends. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Mondays YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 230 subscribers on the main channel, my friends. Uh, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday, full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, and a lot of good stuff available over there on the channel. So go show these artists on the channel some love. And if you already have, thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends. We appreciate you here at Music Mondays. So, um, let's get into it, my friends. Uh, we left off with the homie Ozzy. Up next is the homie Lil Teflon. Now, uh, it's been probably like a month or so since we've heard from Teflon. I'm definitely excited to see what uh, Teflon's been up to and, and um, what they have for us this week. So, 
a super talented hip hop vocalist submitted a track titled Like a Pro. Let's see what we got. Pause that. Pop it open in a new tab. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we reacted to this. I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, we reacted to this before. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll have to find the episode that we reacted that to. We'll we'll uh, link that in the description. But little Teflon, feel free to uh, resubmit next week with something that um we have yet to react to here on the show. So, um, much much love, my friends. So, uh, let's get into it. Up next, after little Teflon, we got the homie Offspring Mysterious. Now, again, another artist that's had a super super solid twenty twenty three. Uh, uploads on uploads. Um and really like pushing the like new level of content offspring is definitely like really hitting new heights for sure so this week offspring submitted shot blocking menace i'm down let's see what we got here so uh pop this open a new tab pause it right quick no wait okay there we go all right Go a little 720. Two months ago. Welcome to the last video of our program. Oh yeah, the basketball journey continues. The basketball journey continues. Okay, okay, I'm definitely down. Alright, let's get into it. Offspring was serious. Shot blocking menace. Let's go. Oh shit. Literally. Oh shit.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Remember to pay easy payments of forty three ninety nine to get the full program. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. Oh, this is gold. Scratching the surface. Like, this was fantastic. This was great. Yeah, like, I love, like, the subtle ending to this. Like, this was such, like, a long time coming for us. And, and I just I just love the subtle yet, like, super epic ending to this. I, I definitely feel like this, like, hit the mark. For sure hit the mark. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's talk about it. So, part yeah. See, like the detailed, the detailed description here really like puts this over. Like, really, really puts this over. So, let's talk about the shining star of the final piece. Of this series. So. One thing I think we can actually really, really take home here. Is the fact that Offspring has really, like, developed into. Somebody who's really good at miniseries. So, when it comes down to music art or it comes down to the basketball series, or anything else, Offspring really shines when it comes down to, um, like, crafting episode to episode, rather than just, like, full-fledged solo videos. And I think Offspring is really, really good at both, but this one kind of gave the, like, last episode kind of feel to it, which kind of proves that Offspring's really good at, at a, like, 
pushing the bar in their own series and really being like, okay, like, how do I want to end this? And how can this be, like, somewhat decent, right? Because the concept itself, like, wasn't, um, wasn't anything, like, insane. But it was creative enough as to where Offspring had a really good layout for this series. Like, a really good layout. That's one thing I really like about this, is it felt like a last episode. It definitely felt like a last episode, and it felt like, like, it gave that, like, accomplishing feeling, while also kind of, like, being relevant to Walking Onslaughts and Offspring Mysterious. You know what I mean? So, I'm really glad we got to kind of showcase the whole series and, and really, like, put all the pieces together and, and really see what Offspring has to do. Um with not only walking onslaughts but the whole series in general to be honest with you so shining star for shot blocking menace um see a lot of the transitions and a lot of the edits here were super fucking solid but um i would say the outro kind of Kind of like solidified that like final episode feel for me it really solidified that like okay um you know this is the end of the series let's see what offspring has next kind of deal so i kind of want to say the outro but the intro was like really really solid as well and then kind of like seeing the progression of shot blocking is also something that like you can't really ignore either there's a couple things here that I definitely enjoyed, and while also kind of getting a couple Offspring tracks in, I definitely feel like I feel like the outro kind of topped it off for me, and it felt like a good finale. That's one thing I really like about this was the outro kind of felt like an outro. I think Offspring really did a good job kind of capping this off and really like really like making the series make sense. So outro definitely the shining star, but the post-processing and a lot of the editing is always going to be some of my favorites from Offspring, so either way, well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, huge shout-out to Offspring for the submission. Uh, make sure you go sub to Offspring Series channel. They are literally four subs away from 140, my friends. And, of course, make sure you show Offspring Series some love on Twitter. Uh, they are literally six followers away from 920. Uh, make sure you show Offspring Series some love, my friends. And, of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. Uh, and of course, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, the Music Monday YouTube channel is approaching 230 subscribers on our main channel. So make sure you go sub, show these are some love. We upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes and a whole lot of good stuff available over there. So go show these artists on the channel some love. Uh, let's get it, baby. So uh, thank you as always. You're very welcome, Offspring. Thank you for your submission, my friend. Much, much love. Um... So, uh, with that said, it is about halfway through episode 150 of the Music Mike's podcast. So, uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. So, uh, I'm going to need every single person to get up, go stretch their legs, uh, go get a snack, go walk the dog, go for a smoke, go do whatever you need to do. And when we return, we're going to get right back into some reactions and reviews. Don't go anywhere. The Music Mike's podcast will be right back.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. I hope you had a good break. Let's let's get back right into some rant news, my friends. So we left off with the homie uh offspring mysterious, but up next we have the homie uh uh Braden actually submitted like just after submissions closed. Um so we'll go through Braden's submission right quick, but <clears throat> Braden, a super, super, super talented alternative vocalist, submitted a track titled See You Later. Um, let's pop this over to a new tab and see what we got here, chat. November 28th. So, super, super, super new, actually. Well, let's get into it. Braden, see you later. Damn. Okay. Okay. I see you, Brayden. I definitely see you. All right. Um, plenty to discuss here, my friends. Plenty to discuss. Um, clocking in at two o three. That 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 felt a little longer than I won't. Um, but but break this one down, my friend. Uh, we're gonna talk about three things here. Talk about the final. Talk about vocals. Talk about the overall theme of See You Later. So, um, man, all right, um, let's talk instrumental. Definitely a, um, a Brayden type instrumental for sure. Um, I like this choice from Brayden. I definitely think it's one that, that absolutely fits Brayden, but they've always been an artist that's had like a really solid beat selection. It's definitely an artist that like has had no problems, um, selecting instruments at all. Um, so I like the choice. Uh, let's talk mix though. Um, hmm. Mix is great, to be honest with you. Like, thinking about it, nothing clashing, nothing too, too overbearing at all. Um, vocals sit nice, everything cuts through nicely. No gripes with this at all. I definitely think it's like one of those instrumentals that. Was just perfectly made for Brayden. You know what I mean? It, it it really was. It really was that kind of instrument for sure. Um so instrumental makes solid, absolutely. Um let's talk instrumental shining star. Um hmm. 
I like the drums and I definitely like the melody a lot here, but the structure, the structure was something that I think really fit Brayden well. And I think Brayden really flowed nicely with this structure here. So I feel like structure is one of the like more, um, more like slept on parts about this or, or underrated, I guess you could say. Um, so definitely structure, but drums and melody are right behind it. Definitely. Um, so instrumental solid, definitely structure. Let's talk vocals. Um, vocals are great. Uh, Brayden has a, like a really solid natural voice. So his mix is always pretty much on point. Um, nothing clashing, too overbearing. Nothing kind of like getting in the way of anything. I think vocals sit really nice in this instrumental. Everything cuts through nice. Um, definitely no gripes. Uh, um, the instrumental whatsoever. Definitely not. Definitely not um or uh the vocal mix i should say um definitely not a shocker either but of course like that you know no surprise there something you always just want to um mention you know so let's see here vocal shining star uh, um kind of interesting here I like the writing here a lot, but I do feel like flow, cadence, and delivery kind of, kind of like really push the bar. To be honest with you, flow, cadence, and delivery definitely like, like really, really kind of showed like Braden's current skill and and like what their bar is right now, and 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 like how they're continuing to like improve. So definitely flow, and cadence, and delivery, just because I feel like it's it's like like a really good indication on where Brayden is is going as a vocalist um so instrumental solid definitely the structure um vocal solid definitely the delivery and flow and cadence um let's talk theme aesthetics um i believe I, i've seen this photo and i posted it not too long ago this is um this is an art piece by i forget i forget who this piece is by this is this is a more like older piece, I believe. More rare, definitely. But um definitely a solid choice nonetheless. Definitely. So aesthetics on point. Um overall theme, see you later, right? I definitely think this is a very much like mixed bag of you know really being able to like drop friends that aren't really your friends, but at the same time um being able to drop anybody that really isn't like fulfilling purpose in your life right i mean whether it is friends or somebody in your personal life a, you know somebody um on the more emotional side of things right i definitely think that there's like there's like a certain line that i feel like everybody kind of goes through like there's just a certain turning point that i feel like everybody kind of just like okay like see you later like it doesn't really matter it has somewhat to do with self-worth, but it also has to do with, like, self-respect as well. You know what I mean? Um, so Braden kind of touches on a couple different things here when it comes to, um, like, the phrase, see you later. Because it's definitely got a little bit more of a deep here, but I think Braden did a good job kind of touching on everything and not just, like, personal aspects or friends. Uh, it's definitely a mixed bag here, and uh, it's definitely a redeeming quality for sure. Um, so with that said, huge shout-out to uh, Braden. Thank you so much for this and much much love make sure you follow Braden on spotify and of course make sure you follow Braden on twitter uh Braden is two followers away from 50 man go show Braden some love on the bird and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube free upload uh and of course make sure you subscribe to the music mondays youtube channel if you haven't already uh we're approaching 230 subscribers my friends uh we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday full podcast episodes segments and a whole lot of good stuff is available over there on the channel so make sure you go show these artists on the channel some love uh and of course huge shout out to everybody that already has subscribed to the music channel much much love. um but we left off with the homie brayden up next is the homie ghost candy now ghost is back in action um after a couple of months of no submissions ghost is back and a uh very very talented alternative producer submitted synthetic energy Let's pop this open a new tab and see what we got here. Now the caption reads, new music. So I'm definitely ready, Ghost. I am ready, my friend. 
Um, let's see what we got here from the homie. Let's see what we got. So, um, I, I actually really like this art. Um, oh shit, we got some Larrys in here? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Ghost candy, synthetic energy. The lyrics in the description? Okay. Okay. Really solid outro as well. Okay, um that was fantastic. That was fucking fantastic. Um really well done and 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 like what a way to like utilize like minimal vocals as well. I definitely feel like Ghost did a good job kind of uh, having a nice blend of everything here. So, um, let's break this one down, my friend. Um, um, we're going to talk about three things here. No, actually, we're going to talk about two things. There's no vocals, obviously. So, we're going to talk about the instrumental, and we're going to talk about the overall theme of synthetic energy. Um, and, okay, so... Let's talk instrumental, since this is the meat of this project, no question. Um, mix is great. Fantastic mix, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, <clears throat> nothing clashing, too overbearing. Everything sits nicely. Um, drums are perfect. Sound selection is good. Um, nothing 
nothing that's kind of like sticking out to me that was like a little bit too much at all i definitely think the mix is perfect especially with like the structure and how everything's like always progressing um mix is fantastic um especially sometimes with, with with like a little bit more of these like faster paced kind of like synthy heavy like alt pop tracks um sometimes the mix can be a little bit weird to get it where you want to be but i think ghost did a good no question no question um the mix is solid um instrumental shining star so i love the melodies here i love 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 the melody um The drums, like, they're fantastic in so many ways, but the sound selection is really, really fucking solid for the drums. So, that leaves me with structure as well. And structure was kind of the thing that, like, really put this over for me as, like, a full song. Um, just because with the minimal lyrics, like, throughout the later half of the song, I feel like the way that Ghost structured this is is just like fantastic like really really fantastic like this is the way that you'd want um you'd want to structure like almost every song as a producer just because you know we you know like ghost does vocals but if you're just like talking from like a strictly like producer aspect this is the way that you'd be able to like actually put out full-fledged full-length songs is structuring them in this way as to where this is always progressing, it's always changing, but it's always like consistent as well. So, um, structure for me definitely like um, just came out on top, man. The structure as this progressed was really, really fucking solid. Really, really solid. So, instrumental shining star definitely structure. Um, let's talk theme. So, aesthetics. Um, fantastic choice. This definitely has like a more lighter feel to it, but also like I always feel like this like electronic pop sound always like like um relate to like the purples and blues and things like that. So if you take like a natural picture and just kind of like deep fried and in uh in a certain way, I feel like it can come out really solid. And I like the minimalist and like simplicity aspects of this. So totally a solid cover choice. No question. No question. Um. So aesthetic choice great um overall theme synthetic energy ghost is, has really like pushed a lot of the whole um ghost in the machine android kind of uh futuristic half man half machine kind of aspect for quite some time now so when it comes to like being in relation to like everything else that ghost has done i definitely think that this is a solid like addition to the library and really fits the like the the synthetic like machine yet like man-made kind of style that ghost really goes for like they do a really good job kind of blending a couple different styles but also making it seem futuristic so synthetic energy is just another one of the ways to like really really like like see the vision with ghost candy style it, it it really really is so um well done ghost well done um huge shout out ghost candy thank you so much for the submission my friend make sure you follow ghost on soundcloud they're nine followers away from 90 and of course make sure you follow ghost on twitter they're uh seven followers away from 50 so go show ghost some love my friend and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube the upload and of course make sure you subscribe to the music money's youtube channel if you haven't already uh we're approaching 230 subscribers we're about three away my friends so make sure you go show these artists and the channel some love and if you already have thank you thank you thank you we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday we'll podcast episodes exclusive segments a lot of good stuff about so go show these artists and the channel some love Get it, baby um so we left off with the homie ghost candy up next is the homie patterns aka little wet wet um Again, this is another artist who's had a solid 2023. Um, a lot of really, really great singles. A lot of really, really great music videos. Um, 
but this week um they submitted a brand new track actually and it's titled it's always sunny on tv so we're gonna take the soundcloud route here um and we're gonna take a little peek. we're gonna take a little peep at what Lil wet wet has for us this week of course if you don't know Lil wet wet a super talented alternative vocalist um once again submitted this track titled it's always sunny on tv with ozzy bug and uh homecoming queen as well um Prod by Homecoming Queen, Vox by Wet Wet and Ozzy, mixed by Wet Wet, recorded at the Dream House. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like what TV? <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. All right, all right, I'm down. Let's get into it. Little Wet Wet, it's always sunny on TV with Ozzy. Let's go. Oh yeah. Damn. Okay, so this was a really great, like, showcase of how good of a duo these two really can be. Like, really, really can be, man. Um, This was great. This was great. Uh, Let's talk about it. So, um, I'm going to talk about three things here. We'll talk about the instrumental, talk about the vocals, talk about the overall theme of It's Always On TV. So, uh, instrumental, Homecoming Queen. This is a um another great duo of Homecoming Queen and and Lil Wet Wet that uh, we're pretty used to by now here on the show, but um this is another great dynamic that is just super super underrated. Um, great great duo when it comes to like purely production and purely like um purely like um like a vocal standpoint. This is a great duo for sure. Um, so with that said, the mix is fantastic. Um, nothing classy to overbearing. Um, everything sits well. Um, everything's super, super level. Vocals sit nice. Instrumental cuts through nicely. Um, Ozzy's vocals are nice. No gripes at all when it comes down to, like, strictly the instrumental. Um, everything's super, super perfect, but not really a surprise. Something you always just gotta point out when it comes to the wet wet. Um, So instrumental solid as far as the mix goes. Instrumental shining star. Probably the melodies. This is a very like once again like synth heavy track that I feel like is fantastic. Um like all three of these artists just make up such a, a fantastic group that it's just like, man, it, th th this dynamic is fucking great. 
Uh, but definitely the melodies. The drums were right up there, too. I feel like the drums cannot be understated. But um, the melody kind of did it for me as far as, like, what really, like, pushed kind of, like, a new... Um, a new, like, redeemable qualities. This is a very, like, synth-heavy project that I feel like you're going to hear it and you're going to instantly know what track it is. Um, especially if you like it. But um, Instrumental solid, definitely the melody. Um, let's talk vocals. Uh, vocal mix. Fantastic. Um, Patterns is an artist that um, can use a lot of their natural voice, but also uses a lot of processing as well. But I feel like they kept a lot of, like, um, good aspects of both in this track itself. Um, again, this is an artist that really can go either way when it comes down to like how they want their vocals to sound. Um, but in this particular track, I think vocals are really solid. Um, like I said, everything sits nice, nothing clashing, too overbearing. Um, drums cut through nicely. Um, Ozzy's vocals sound great. Definitely no gripes with the instrumental mix at all. Um, once again, this is an artist that knows what they're doing with their vocals. So not really a shocker that it's a very like tight, well-rounded mix. But again, something you always want to point out. Um, instrumental Shining Star. Um, hmm. Or no, uh, Vocal Shining Star, I should say. Um, I, w I was thinking about this during like the later half of the track, right? And um, this was one where I was like, okay, okay. Um, I kind of came to the conclusion of flow and cadence, though. I kind of came to the conclusion of flow and cadence just because, um, it, it's, it's the part that made me focus on the lyrics more. The flow and cadence kind of comes at you fast along with it. So I feel like that was, like, a really, like, solid aspect about this. But, um, writing could be, like, a close, a close aspect as well. So... Kind of torn between the two, but flow and cadence and delivery kind of like took it home for me, definitely. Um, so instrumental solid, definitely the melodies. Um, vocal solid, definitely the flow and cadence and delivery. Um, let's talk theme. Aesthetics. This might be one of the favorite like IRL covers I have of these two. Like I really like this shot. Um, uh, totally cover worthy, but at the same time, like I feel like it just has like a lot of like. It, it like the subtle edits like the dynamic between these two that's that's like already there like i feel like this is a perfect cover for sure um because this is more of like a darker kind of track not lyrically but but sound wise so i feel like this one kind of like hit the mark for these two. um again one of the more like quote unquote like irl covers but definitely like has a solid amount of like processing and editing to it to where like it uh it stands out for sure it stands out um overall theme now it's always sunny on tv is of course a reference to the tv show right but i definitely feel like it's it's a deeper kind of meaning for what these two were going for um you know there's a lot of dissecting to be done with these lyrics i definitely think that you could take these a couple different ways um and i really feel like that it was meant to be that way. I don't think that this theme and the meaning of this track was supposed to jump right out at you. This is definitely one that would have to sit for quite a while, and you're going to learn more and more on each listen. Um, and Lil Wet Wet's definitely been known for that when it comes down to their writing. Um, sometimes it's like super easy to get right in their shoes, and then other times it's very you you got to take a couple listens to like really have something settle in. So, well done, my friend. Well done. Uh, huge shout out to Patterns aka Lil Wet Wet. Make sure you follow them on SoundCloud. They are uh seven followers away from six hundred and fifty. And of course, make sure you follow them on the Bird app, my friends. Uh, they are seven followers away from four hundred and forty. Go show Patterns some love, my friends. And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube free upload. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching two hundred and thirty subscribers on the main Music Monday channel. Make sure you go show these artists and motherfucking channel some love my friends so um with that said we left off with the homie patterns aka little wet wet but up next we have i believe uh the homie nicole g uh nicole g is an artist that we've reacted to i think like a couple weeks ago for the very first time uh a very very talented alternative vocalist submitted a track titled mango sky hope you enjoy and thank you for listening let's get it nicole 
Uh, thank you for your submission. Let's get it. I'm definitely down. Um, so, okay. 2023, October 8th. So, just about two months old. Not super old, but not super new yet either. So, let's get into it. Nicole G. Mango Guy. Okay, that was definitely like a very laid back kind of like relaxed kind of chill out kind of track. That was solid. That was definitely definitely solid. Um okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. So, uh we're talking about three things here. We're talking about the instrumental, talk about vocals, talk about the overall theme of Mega Guy. Um So, let's get into it. Um let's talk instrumental um mix instrumental mix um fantastic to be honest with you um super level nothing clashing too overbearing nothing that's kind of like sticking out that's like ultimately like um super like off-putting at all um i think the instrumental mix is definitely right where it needs to be no question um Hmm. Instrumental mix solid. Instrumental shining star. Melody is definitely solid, but I feel like the drums were super crucial here, and I definitely like the drum select. Melody is definitely up there, but but drums kind of like took it home for me, to be honest with you. Um, something about these drums kind of. Kind of like gave it that like extra hard hitting aspect that I think this needed for sure. So definitely drums, definitely drums, but melody and structure were definitely like a close second. Um, hmm. So instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Let's talk vocals here. So vocal mix is fantastic. I think Nicole has like a really solid natural voice. I think their natural voice kind of like, um, really is is like one of their best instruments. To be honest with you, it it, it really pushes the bar. Um, so vocals definitely right where they need to be. Sit nice in the instrumental. Everything cuts through nicely. Drums are solid um nothing clashing to overbearing super super level um definitely no gripes with the vocal mix at all um vocal shining star 
definitely flow and cadence and delivery because it was a more uh simple track so i feel like flow and cadence and delivery kind of mattered more here um definitely mattered like way way more so um definitely definitely flow and cadence and delivery 100 percent, 100 percent. so instrumental solid definitely the drums vocal solid definitely the flow and cadence and delivery um let's talk theme so um aesthetics I mean, for a track called Mango Sky, what what better of a cover could you really could you really want, right? I mean, super HD, super high quality. I definitely think this was like the direction to question. I mean, Mango Sky, right? So, I definitely like um, the aesthetics here. Absolutely. Um, overall theme, I definitely think that this track was like a metaphor, much like Nicole's last track for. Um, really kind of someone's like i guess their looks but also more specifically like their eyes and like how it can like being like glistening glowing and like uh very much in that orange yellow pureness state so i really feel like this was a like metaphoric track rather than something that like, jumps right out at you and it has that like a very like chill aspect to it so i think nicole did a really good job kind of like putting out something that relatively relaxing but also has like a very substantial well done my friend well done uh huge shout out to nicole g make sure you follow nicole on spotify and of course make sure you follow nicole on twitter uh they are four followers away from 260 go show nicole some love my friends and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube free upload and of course make sure you subscribe to the music channel if you have uh, we're approaching 230 subscribers on the main um we upload two times a week every thursday every saturday full podcast episodes exclusive segments and a whole lot of good stuff over there on the channel so make sure you go show these artists in the channel some love my friend uh and if you already have thank you thank you thank you we appreciate you you here at music mondays my friends let's get it baby so um up next we have uh the homie smoking cola now it's been a minute since we heard from smoking cola man um well not really i guess like what like two weeks or so but um, a super, super talented alternative artist submitted a track titled Face My Love. Not sure if I sent this one. I need to start a spreadsheet. Yeah, um, no, nah, you're good. We we usually keep pretty good track, uh, and this is definitely one that we have not reacted to. So uh, we are totally down. Um, absolutely down. So let's see what we have reacted to. Um, um We've definitely done Little Mellow, and I think we've done Collide. If Collide is on Bandcamp, no, we've done Little Mellow, and we've done one on Band. We definitely haven't done Face My Love. But regardless, let's get into it. Smoking Cola, Face My Love. Let's go.
Okay. So that was a ballad. That was definitely a fucking ballad if I ever heard one. Um, fantastic. And fucking tastic. So let's break this one down, my friends. Let's break this one down. So uh, we're going to talk about three things here. We'll talk about the instrumental, talk about vocals, talk about the overall theme of Face My Love. So um, let's talk instrumental because this is a very like live, unprocessed kind of style of instrumental, right? Um, very instrumental heavy, if you will. Um, but the mix is fantastic. Um, nothing clashing, too overbearing. Everything's super, super level. Um, very well-rounded vocals sit nice. Definitely no gripes at all. Um, not really a shocker, right? I mean, Smoke and Cole is an artist that we've gotten to react to a couple times here on the show, and this is definitely an artist that I feel like, um, uh, really has like a, a like like a good lockdown on their mix and what they like to sound like and like how they are supposed to sound on certain tracks. Um, so mix fantastic, no question. Um, as far as the instrumental goes, instrumental shining star. Um, definitely the structure. Um, I feel like Smoke and Cola. Uh, uh, their ability to, like, really put on, like, a good instrumental structure is, is, like, super underrated. Like, this song is, like, just super well-structured. All the drops are solid. The outro's, like, very progressive. Like, like, I feel like the instrumental structure, like, um, took a long, not, not, like, took a long time, but there was a lot of effort put into the instrumental structure, and that definitely deserves to go, um, not unnoticed. So, um, definitely the structure is a shining star for sure. Um, let's talk vocals. So, vocals are very natural here when it comes down to the mix. Not very processed. Super natural. Um, nothing clashing to overbearing. Vocals definitely still sit nice in the instrumental, especially with it being, like, so, um, live instrumental heavy. I definitely think the vocals sit really, really nice. Nothing's, like, fighting for space or anything like that, so. Uh, vocal mix absolutely solid. Um, vocal shining star. Hmm. It could be. It could be flow and cadence and delivery, but I feel like the writing is definitely up there too. Though, writing might just be up there just because it's such like an honest track. Um, yeah, probably writing, probably writing, just because it's a very honest track, but it's a very, like, um, it, it, it's a track that doesn't hold back, if you will. Um, so, instrumental solid, definitely structure, vocal solid, uh, definitely the writing, 100%. Uh, let's talk theme. So, uh, Smoke Cola has had a, a relatively consistent theme throughout their art. They have this, like, black and white aesthetic that's very, like, pen and paper heavy. Um, and always looks very solid when it comes down to, like, how consistent their, like, platform looks. Um, because I don't think, like, obviously, as we always say, like, you're not required to make consistent art, right? But I definitely feel like it's, like, not a bad look to be able to, like, make some art that's, like, relatively similar to each other, right? So, um, this one is, is, is definitely one that goes, like, right in the collection, for sure. I think Smoke and Cola did a good job with this, especially, like, with the love-centered kind of theme here. Um, really well done really really well done um overall theme face my love so it's it's a couple things it's a couple things it, it it's one of those tracks where like i feel like face my love can mean like a couple different things to a couple different people but it's definitely one of those tracks that talks about love in like a couple different ways right um, whether it's Smoke and Cola kind of facing their own love and, like, where that can really, like, be misplaced and, like, misplacing your love, but also maybe, like, another person kind of, like, facing your love as well. So kind of, like, the back and forth dynamic of, like, love being love and not really, like, going in a proper place, you know what I mean? So, um, I feel like this is a very, like, double-edged sword kind of dynamic. Uh, with that said, huge shout-out to Smoke and Cola. Thank you so much for this much much love make sure you follow smoke and cola on spotify and of course make sure you follow smoke and cola on twitter uh they are seven followers away from 940 go show smoke and cola some love 
And of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every episode will be linked in the description of the And of course, make sure you subscribe to the music channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 230 subscribers on the music channel, my friends. Um, and again, like I said, we upload two times a week, every Thursday and Saturday, four podcast episodes. A lot of good stuff available. I'll show these artists on the channel some love. Uh, so we left off with the homie Smoke Cola. Up next is the homie Mason Monzi. Permanent slash prosthetic. Now, this is a first time submitting artist. So, no bio, no anything. Okay, okay, Mason, I see you. Here we got here. Now we have a full album. So, we'll go through the first track and see, um, and see what kind of a reaction we have here. So, Monzi the Terrible and Dylan Land, permanent slash prosthetic. Okay, so looks like to be a, a duo collab project here. First track is titled Sassafras. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into it. First time at submitting artist Monzi the Terrible Sassafras. Smoking gas during mass with a crack flask. Stole their hearts in a black mask. They heard the blast blast, and I'm the one laughing last. Got my lashes in a crown made of sassafras and broken glass. Nailed to the cross walk, lamenting on the past. Got two walls of grass and a throne made of trash. Now home is a horrible place to call back. Everything I hate is everything I lack. And my mental state as of late is bashed with a baseball bat. Scratch the surface like a motherfucking rash. Through the rubble and the ash, I could stumble on the fragments of a clash. First class casualties. Now look at that, the rich eat themselves and it barely left a scab Grabbed by the throat, I was stabbed I've been hurt before, it's just a jab I rise in three days and take a dab Hey Joe, don't make the sum sad I don't know the end, but I can end it in a dash Visions of dead bodies in a flash Y'all know that I'm hardly a human I'll flatline all that ass Come <laughs> not missing Found me in scripture Got lost in addiction Nobody listens Nobody dances when you win the back trip and coming up missing. Found me in scripture, got lost in addiction. Nobody listens, nobody dances when you in the back trip. And I trapped myself under ice for some angel dust. Hell froze over and it left a poor made of blood. Saints have inner demons too, who are they to judge? Public enemy in Babylon to die and raise someone. Dark when the assailants come, picks turn to be macing us. Coming out like a mad ball, I smell the bacon hung. A young niggerish Icarus, I blew up the blazing sun of rages. I created on my neck, washed in a lake of rust. Maybe ain't no saving us, ain't no fucking saving us. We've been treading lightly for a while, ain't no blaming us. Blasphemous, a blade, place of complacency, he came and gone. And Shame was the catalyst. Battlefields, no place for love. Women fighting for their fucking life. Let's trade the maze for guns. Niggas don't want to see their life. They want to raise their sons. I got a Billy Club sandwich for you racist punks. I leave you bitch niggas famished. No face, I'm punched. Until I see a white flag, I ain't saving none. I am not afraid of them. Everybody face the gun. Everybody's just fucking human till the savior come. Can't hide your old self, cause it has no place to run. Coming up missing. Found me in scripture. Got lost in addiction, nobody listens, nobody dances when you win the back trip and coming up missing. Found me in scripture, got lost in addiction, nobody listens, nobody dances when you win the back trip. And Damn, okay, 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 okay. Now, see, that was a banger fucking track to like kick off an album with, no question. Like, I feel like, um. I feel like a track like this would definitely make a first-time listener. Um, kind of want to continue to dive into the project, right? Um, so let's break this one down, man. Uh, we're gonna talk about three things here: talk about the instrumental, talk about vocals, talk about the overall theme of Sassafras. So, um, let's see here. Um, instrumental. Um, mix is fantastic. Nothing clashing, to overbearing. Nothing that's like kind of. Kind of like really tweaking out, uh, nothing that's really fighting for space. Um, vocals sit nice, drum selection is very solid, sound selection overall is very solid. Um, mix is definitely right where it needs to be as far as the instrumental goes, no question. Um, let's see, so instrumental mix solid, instrumental shining star. Um, hmm. I 
I like the drums a lot on this, but I feel like the melody really like is the most rememberable here, and it's something that you're gonna like. Like you're just gonna remember right off rip, and you're just gonna hear the first note, and you'll be like, ah, okay, 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 I know this song, kind of, kind of deal, you know. So, um, yeah, definitely the melody, definitely the melody for sure. So instrumental solid, definitely the melody, shining star. Um, let's talk vocals. Um, vocal mix is fantastic. Um. Fonzie has like a really solid na natural kind of voice, so uh, I feel like the mix is right where it needs to be as far as like kind of like keeping like a middle ground right, but it's not like really pushing to be something it's not. It's really not like uh, really not trying to do too much. I feel like it's right where it needs to be. And again, everything cuts through nicely. Drums are solid. Vocals sit nice in the instrumental. Everything's nice and level. No gripes with the uh, vocal mix at all. Um, vocal shining star. Um, Writing was very interesting here. A lot of really solid bars, a lot of bars that like you kind of got to like like really listen to and not let go of your head. But the writing was solid, but but I think the thing that that I also really want to talk about is the uh flow and cadence. I feel like the flow and cadence and delivery throughout the whole track was really top notch. Um especially for a first time submission, you, you you like never really know what to expect, but um flow and cadence and delivery really kind of like stuck with me for sure so probably flow and cadence and delivery but i feel like writing was a close second definitely um so instrumental solid definitely the melodies um vocal solid flow and cadence and delivery for sure uh writing a close second but let's talk theme here so this track is from permanent slash prosthetic with monzi and dylan land um kind of an interesting cover here i'm not gonna lie to you like absolutely album worthy but one of those covers that like you gotta look at for like a couple seconds to really like fully grasp, right? And really be like, huh, you know what I mean? And and the more you look at it, the more you take in. But it really has a a, a strong like minimal aspect to it. So that's one thing I really like about this a lot. Um, so aesthetics definitely on point for sure. Has that like classical hip hop feel, but like still very modern, definitely. Um, so overall theme. Sassafras. Um, I think the term Sassafras could really like, like it's it's probably more of like a subliminal meaning to Monzi and and Dylan than it is like the listener, right? But I do feel like Monzi kind of like touched on a lot of like really important topics, but also like in a way where it was very consumable for a new listener, right? You can listen to Monzi kind of like bit bar after bar after like real life shit, or just kind of like not like comedic shit, but more lighthearted kind of lyrics right so it was a great dynamic and i think it was a great intro to a project no question especially for like a first time listener so uh well done my friend well done uh huge shout out to monzi make sure you follow them on spotify and of course make sure you follow them on twitter uh they are nine followers away from 260 make sure you go show them some love on the bird app my friends and of course every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the youtube re-upload and of course every artist um is always featured in the description of each episode and make sure you subscribe to me and you me for the forms list see you got no time so i touch you online screenshot profile she ain't never online shawty got a home right no pick on a profile please don't let them play everybody know that you be winning all for the money two for the money three for the money do you Okay. Okay. Now, first time submitting artists, you definitely know, you definitely don't know what to expect in in, in uh, certain cases, man. But that was a pleasure. That was definitely a pleasure. Um, let's break that one down, man. Uh, a couple things to discuss here. So let's talk about uh the instrumental. Let's talk about vocals. Let's talk about the overall theme of for the money. So, um, let's talk instrumental. Uh, a super R&B, kind of like alt-pop-centered instrumental, very fast-paced, very much like, um, kind of like an emotional 
instrumental as well, but um, nonetheless, the mix was fantastic. The mix was really, really solid. Drum selection, super solid. Melody's great. Nothing clashing to overbearing. Vocals sit nice, absolutely. Um, definitely no gripes with this at all. Um, I think the instrumental mix is definitely right where it needs to be. Question. Uh, super, super level. Um, instrumental mix solid. Instrumental shining star. Probably the drums. I feel like the drums were a very crucial part of this. The drums were like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, the drums really, like... The drums really, like, pushed a standard here. Um, and really kind of, like, kept up, like, the fast pace, R&B, slight, like, dance vibes as well. So definitely the drums. Definitely the drums. But the uh, melody's a close second. Definitely. Um, so instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Let's talk vocals here. Um, vocal mix again, fantastic vocal mix, absolutely fantastic vocal vocal mix. Uh, nothing clashing, overbearing, nothing. Um, nothing that that really kind of stuck out to me. That was like a little bit overbearing at all. I definitely think the vocals sat in a really really solid spot. Um, everything cut through nicely, like I said. Uh, our vocals super separate. Um, yeah, no, no, definitely no, no gripes with the vocals at all. Um, vocal shining star. I like the flow and cadence and delivery, but like more specifically, I feel like the, the hook was really insane, and the hook was like really, really well performed. So for me, the hook kind of like took this home for me. To be honest with you, I, I just I just feel like they did a really good job on the hook and and really like made that a memorable aspect of this track. Like no question. No question. Um So instrumental solid, definitely the drums. Uh vocal solid. Um definitely the hook. Um let's talk theme here. So um overall theme, let's talk aesthetics. Um now this is a full project, so when it comes down to Heartbreak Season itself, two artists, uh, I assume the vocalist and the producer, and then um, a Heartbreak Season above, I definitely feel like this is like a solid yet simple cover. Like this was definitely like what you'd want to go for if, if you wanted to be like relatively simplistic, you know what I mean? So I definitely think they hit the mark as far as like a full lab project goes, you know what I mean? Totally, totally hit the mark for sure. Um. So aesthetics on point um overall theme for the money so obviously very much like a personal slightly emotional love centered track right but i feel like these two kind of touched on it in a way where it's like you don't want to see your significant other kind of like going out of the way for the money right or or letting people take advantage of them for the money and i feel like they did a good job kind of like writing a love song from like a good point of view and, and 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 like from a good place right i definitely feel like they were coming from a good place with this so um yeah man no doubt no doubt i feel like this theme was like relatively simple but also at the same time like very meaningful and really well performed so well done my friends well done um with that said make sure you follow uh dk bangers on spotify and of course make sure you follow them on uh twitter as well they are approaching uh, 850 followers on the Bird app, my friends. And, of course, every artist featured in today's episode and every single episode will be linked in the description of the YouTube re-upload. And, of course, make sure you subscribe to the Music Monday's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, we're approaching 230 subscribers on the Music Monday's main channel, my friends. Uh, we upload two times a week, every Thursday, every Saturday. Full podcast episodes, exclusive segments, a lot of good stuff. Channel, man. Let's show these artists in the channel some love. But, with that said, that is the last submission of episode 150. Of the music money's podcast my friends let's close it out let's say our little goodbyes let's talk about what's coming on music Mondays over the course of the next week or so let's see what's coming up for the rest of the week so uh let's get into it my friends but first off huge shout out to everybody that came through and submitted tonight you guys are fucking wonderful and amazing thank you thank you thank you um Huge, huge shout out to Survival and Negativity, Jordan, Ozzy, Lil Teflon, Offspring, Braden, Ghost Candy, Lil Wet Wet, Nicole G, Smoking Cola, Mason, um, DK, Remix Cat, Nay, Blood Cat, Industrial One, um, Cine, 
Dread, Super Source, Tim, Bendo, and everybody else that submitted and came through and showed love, man. You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. <coughs> so, <coughs> before we say our goodbyes, um, I talked about uh, what's coming up on Music Mondays uh, at the beginning of the show, but if you missed it, uh, we have quite the amount of content dropping on Music Mondays as well as figuring out the Music Mondays Awards for uh 2023 so um make sure you stay up to date and follow us on socials at all music mondays uh follow us on twitter on instagram on tiktok on facebook on threads on pretty much everything and anywhere that you have socials my friends make sure you follow us and go love for real um but but like i said uh we have a lot of stuff coming up for um the end of the year and really tying up a couple of loose ends when it comes down to uh music mondays and what we're going to be dropping so um again make sure you follow us on all socials uh, expect a couple of written pieces this week expect a lot this week actually we have a lot coming so um again just follow us on socials at all music mondays uh, make sure you, uh stream the podcast on all audio platforms anchor.fm slash all music mondays uh, if you want to submit for next week's podcast and the very first episode of season four of the Music Mondays podcast, episode 151, uh, submissions open tomorrow. So if you're watching this live, uh, submissions literally open tomorrow. But if you're watching this on YouTube, submissions are already open. So go find the submission tweet and drop your links, my friends. Let's fucking get it. Uh, but with that said, huge shout out to everybody that did once again. Huge shout out to everybody that came through chat. Huge shout out to Re, Offspring, uh, Jay. Anybody else that lurks and chills, you guys are fucking amazing. Uh, and of course, make sure you follow the channel if you haven't already. Four followers away from 600. We stream six days a week. Uh, speed runs, reactions, all that good stuff, man. Uh, but with that said, uh, my name is Dom Slays. Make sure you follow me. Uh, link down below. I'll subscribe below. All that good stuff. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow for the usual shit. But episode 151 will be live next week of the Music Money Podcast. So. That said, be safe. I love you guys. It's your boy Zom Slaves. We'll see you next week for episode 151 of the Music Mondays podcast. Stay tuned.